Hello and welcome to 2K Compliant. It's September. It's the time of year when we talk about vintage tech from none other than Tandy. Most Septandy videos are usually about Tandy computers. But since I don't have anything specifically branded by Tandy or any Tandy computers, what I do have is a number of things from Radio Shack, Realistic, and Optimus, which were all divisions or brand names of the Tandy Corporation. I have a bunch of things from microphones, scanner radios, to PA amplifiers. Even this Archer CB antenna, which is still in its original packaging. As a young AV nerd, I loved Radio Shack. I used to pore over the catalog and dream of someday buying many of the things in this catalog, including a PA amplifier like this MPA90. Most of my Shack collection has come from dumpster saves while helping to clean out friends' and relatives' attics and garages. And some items even came from clients who were liquidating obsolete or unused sound equipment. These MPA-50 amplifiers appear to be identical, other than one being branded for Optimus and the other for Radio Shack. I never cared much for Radio Shack speakers, but these Optimus Pro LX5s actually do sound very good. I picked up most of these while thrifting. I believe I only paid $10 or $15 each. I did replace the low-frequency drivers in two of the Optimus units because their woofer foam had disintegrated. Three of the five are actually branded RCA, but come from the same factory in Malaysia and are identical. They all contain the same Linium dipole ribbon tweeters. They have a very smooth, omnidirectional sound. I also have a few of these cube speakers, which I do still use in my studio. The Optimus XTS40, the poor man's Oratone. They are great for testing my mixes to know what they might sound like on computer speakers or flat screen TVs. These are some of my scanner radios, as well as a Radio Shack CB radio. This one was a birthday gift from my in-laws. And of course, let's power some of these up with an original Tandy Computer Power Center. I don't have anything programmed into these anymore, but we can still listen to the weather alert broadcast. West. Showers likely. Waves 1 to 3 feet. Tuesday, northwest winds 10 knots or less becoming south. Partly cloudy. Waves 1 foot or less. 
the nearshore marine forecast for the Niagara River to Hamlin Beach along Lake Ontario. Tonight, south winds 10 knots or less. Mainly clear. Waves 1 foot or less. Friday, south winds 10 knots or less becoming east. Partly to mostly sunny. Waves 1 foot or less. Friday night, east winds 5 to 15 knots. The other two scanners were my grandfather's from a time when you had to purchase and insert crystals to receive specific radio frequencies. Watching these blinking orange lights always takes me back to my grandparents' living room, and I can still hear the tones of the Amherst Fire Control 6 o'clock radio test. And here are some of my microphones. And you are hearing catalog number 33-1052, Realistic Electric Tie Clip Microphone. Originally priced $24.99, on clearance for $14.97. And here is the manual. We service what we sell. The Radio Shack Limited Warranty. And now, catalog number 33-3004, the Radio Shack Unidirectional Dynamic Microphone. low impedance with an XLR connector and a switch. Here are one of many different impedance adapters Radio Shack sold. This one allows you to plug a low impedance microphone into a high impedance quarter inch connector like a guitar amplifier, maybe. And now, catalog 33-1080. The realistic, low-impedance, back-electric, cardioid microphone. From Japan. But wait, what about catalog number 33-990, the realistic MC-1000 dynamic microphone with high impedance, a lavalier cord, desk stand, and hi-fi response. Mmm. This one's pretty cool. I, I actually picked this up about a week or so ago at a thrift store for $5. Complete in the original box with all of the original packaging, it looks like. And the cable was even was even uh, wrapped up with the what looked like the original twist tie. So I don't think it's ever been used. So now, catalog number 33-2050, the realistic sound level meter. This is actually something I purchased uh, shortly after I got my first job. Uh, this is a, one of those things that I always wanted to have, and I ended up using this for a few years somewhat professionally when I was cutting my teeth as an audio engineer through college and 
for a few years after that. Um, it was more of a gimmicky thing, and eventually I learned how to use my ears. Um, but uh, this is a this is a neat little device that actually still works, um, or appears to work. As you can see, I'm snapping my fingers, and the meter is responding. And of course, here is the manual. Service what we sell. Not anymore. And there you have it, my shack collection, in honor of Septandy. There is still some September left, so look up the hashtag Septandy for more Tandy and Radio Shack themed videos from other channels. I thank you for stopping by and watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos about vintage electronics and technology. Yeah.